hello and welcome to another video so this week i received update 2020.16.2.1 this is rather quickly after i actually uh, posted the video on the speed bug so i will be testing that as well to see whether or not it has been resolved but uh, let's find out what's what in terms of autopilot So as usual we start with the hill crest and uh, on the downward section the lane markings are disappearing and in the previous update the car was really pulling to the left at that point so let's see whether it has improved in this update. So here the lane markings disappear. Yep it's better again. So that was a fluke in the previous update and now it uh, pretty much is behaving like before where it goes a little bit to the side but not too much. All right, the infamous S-curve and the regulations still haven't changed. So what I would like to see at this point is that the car starts to slow down before the turn so it can make it. It has done that before as I mentioned in previous updates but um, We'll see. Yep, it is slowing down. Oh yes. Okay, it is rather slow and still going to the outside, but it is completely slowing down on its own again after several months of not doing that anymore. So thank you, Tesla. This made this section a lot safer again right so let's test the on-ramp so I need to confirm lanes oh it is slowing down for this turn as well okay in some of the previous updates it was almost missing the turn there as well but uh, and unfortunately the blinking continues even after being on that lane okay double exit taking so this is the first one let's see if it takes the second one I adjusted the route so it should in the previous update it seemed like it was back um, but I didn't test it on this section because I didn't need to take that exit now let's see, it still continues on Navigate on Autopilot. It is rather abruptly taking this exit. Let's see. Yeah, so it is going until halfway through the exit here. So not entirely up until the traffic lights, but... Uh, yeah that side road it's still highway but somehow that was not classified as highway in the several previous updates and now it's back again so that's good as well now let's see what it does with the weaving or moving out of the center of the lane when you're passing a truck so here we have a truck and let's see what the car does. Will it go straight on or move to the side? No, nope, it is moving to the side again. And now it's moving back. So it's a lot quicker in uh, moving back. But again, if you have multiple trucks, then that's, uh, that's a problem. Because then the car starts going left, right, left, right. And it's uh, uncomfortable uh, in that situation. Now here again, let's move to the side. Oh, that's a nice uh, thing to test here. What if I go back uh, to the second lane? So, initiating, moving, moving, oh, cancelling, cancelling, moving, cancelling. Wow, oh, and now it got into the timeout. <laughs> 
Okay, so the Tesla is detecting the truck in the second lane while it is not and therefore it cancels and now because I had two trucks it cancelled several times and then we got the timeout because of the UNEC regulations. That's still a huge bug that definitely needs to be fixed. Right here we have the exit where uh, in the previous update the car was attempting to take the second exit again. So let's see if that has improved because back then it actually disabled autopilot midway through the exit. So taking the first exit, slowing down before the curve, maybe not enough. Okay, so yeah, getting the auto steer limited because of the UN ECE regulations. Now let's see if it will take the second exit or whether or not it will abort again. So here we have the exit. Yep, it is taking it. Nice. I would rather see it a little bit more fluent, but uh, no, it's it's a lot better than uh, than it used to be. So let's see what they have done with the speed bug that I reported. So I'm doing 70. Here's the sign says I can do 50. Nope, that still hasn't changed. Uh, let me slow down here so I don't get a speeding ticket at the traffic light. And if I hold the stock, it says 50 and not 60, the way it uh, was doing it in uh, the previous update. So it seems to be fixed, but let's try another location where I demonstrated it uh, in the last video and see if it's fixed there as well. Here the same, going 50, 70, it doesn't go to 80 and then back to 70. So it seems to be fixed. And as usual, we have the lane shift up ahead. Seems to be a red light, so let me slow down a little bit, hoping that it will turn green in time. Yep, leaving some room to allow me to get up to speed. There's also a truck parked, so I'm kind of curious to see whether or not it will break for that truck. No, it doesn't. Okay. Seems that we have an improvement there as well, that it doesn't break for that parked truck so the car knows that this is not in its path and the path is going next to the truck. Cool. Right, let's try this a second time. Hopefully there's not a car in front of me. The light is green. So I can uh, actually, nope, it's turning orange again. Well, let me see if I can uh, stretch it a little bit. Enabling autopilot already. So let's see what we can do here. Already on autopilot, so that's not an issue. Helping it accelerate a little bit. Let's see if it breaks for that truck. It does a little bit. So it was kind of following the car in front of me uh, earlier, which is, which is good that it uses that information. So it's not entirely fixed, but it's not slamming on the brakes either, uh, what it was doing before. And here we have the final bit where the lane markings disappear altogether. And they are basically the parking area around uh, or uh, a little bit in the middle of the street. Whoa, it is searching for the middle of the road. 
Wow. Now it is. Wow. Okay. That definitely has gotten a lot worse. So instead of hugging the right lane marking, it actually um, searches for the middle of the remaining road surface. That used to be a lot better. But it also means that I can't test the section at the end with the little divider because I can't enable autopilot anymore on this section, unfortunately. All right, time for another conclusion. What can we say about this update? Well, first of all, the uh, weaving to the left when it loses the left lane markings on the hill crest, that has back at the same level as it was before. So no real changes there. Uh, but we do have one big change on the S-curve. And uh, yeah, it actually slowed down again before the curve and it was able to handle that curve again uh, exactly the way that I'm expecting it. Well, not exactly. It's still a little bit too lazy in the turn. It should be more centered on the uh, or within the lane. But uh, right now it is a big improvement over the last update. We still have the bug where if you drive on the third lane and a truck is in the first lane and you want to move over to the second lane, then uh, it thinks that the truck is in your lane and this time it was just the worst uh, because of those trucks, those two trucks being close to each other. Um, yeah, that was just uh, not usable at all and, and that's a bug that Tesla really needs to fix because it's been there for quite some time and I don't see any improvements there. The automatic exit taking, uh, well, it, while it's still a bit jerky, it is doing it again. And uh, last time, when I hit the exit to Lokeren, it uh, disabled autopilot on the second exit. Right now, it's doing it. And uh, again, that is another improvement. Also, the speed bug that I reported in the previous update, or in the previous video, uh, that has been fixed and I don't know whether or not it's a coincidence but I posted the video and a day later I got the update and the update basically fixes what I reported. Um, so yeah, that's, that's good of course. Some people were saying that well it's the fleet speed, uh, so called uh, fleet speed means that uh, Tesla gathers data from uh, the entire fleet and determines what is a good speed to take this turn. Uh, but it was not the case. It was just a bug, just as I thought. Now the final section, that is a little bit uh, worse because right now it doesn't hunt for the side of the road. It just keeps to the middle of the road. So that has gotten worse. But again, it's not yet intended to be used in that specific situation. So I'm, I'm testing the limits of the system. I'm expecting it to have difficulties with that situation. And we are seeing that right now. Uh, but again, yeah, room for improvement. Also, this update was supposed to give better uh, pedestrian detection. So I tested it by having my son walk in front of the car, while not driving, of course. Uh, but I don't notice anything. So maybe this is an MCU thing again, because I still am on MCU 1. Hardware 2.0, uh, with no vision yet, or no roadmap yet towards hardware 3.0. Tesla still cannot say when I will be getting that, unfortunately. So maybe it's related to that, and maybe with hardware 3, uh, with another MCU, it would be better in the pedestrian detection, but right now, the way I see it, uh, my son is already halfway the car and then it pops up as a pedestrian and then it is really jerky in the movement. Um, some cases it didn't even detect them at all. So I don't see that improvement on my car specifically, but your mileage may vary, of course. So there you have it. I think this is the best update we've had since many months. I think since New Year or something. Uh, a lot of improvements that I've gotten in there. So I really like it. I really like the improvements, especially the S-curve that has gotten a lot safer again. So thank you Tesla for fixing that one. 
And as usual, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe using that button down there. And make sure you hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.